Welcome. I am the Golden Death Mask of Tutankhamun, and his name means the living image of Amun. Tutankhamun was a well-known pharaoh from the 18th dynasty in the New Kingdom period in Egypt, around 1341 BC to 1323 BC. This is an introduction to prehistoric art, and I will be your narrator, even though prehistoric art began many ages before my existence. By prehistoric I mean the time before written history. Some form of spoken language can be dated back over 50,000 years ago. Written history began with the invention of writing around 5,000 years ago in Mesopotamia and Egypt. History makes history. Events become memorable, individuals and societies begin to build on history or the documented past. No more reinventing the wheel, changes accelerate. Prehistoric Ages The two that we discuss are the Paleolithic Era and the Neolithic Era. The first prehistoric age is the Paleolithic Era. Paleolithic means Old Stone Age. Paleo, Greek for Old, Litho, Greek for Stone. The people of this period made and utilized stone. Around 1,500,000 BC to 8,000 BC. These people were hunters and food gatherers that found shelter in caves or shelters of overhanging rocks. Many sites are found in France and Spain. They lived communally and also built shelters and tents at cave openings from animal skins and made huts from mud, rocks, plant material, and animal bones. Fire had been in use for 600,000 years and evidence of hearths in their shelters has been found. 90,000 years ago humans made and decorated beads. There was evidence of symbolic thinking. Humans had been making specialized tools far longer. From 50,000 to 30,000 Homo sapiens sapiens, meaning wise, wise men, emerged and replaced Neanderthals, and they began to represent images. Represent means presenting again. In substitute form, something observed. They use natural earth pigments to paint animals on the rock walls of caves, primarily in France and Spain. They also sculpted figurines of humans, primarily women, as well as jewelry adornment. Stone tools made this possible instead of the flint tools of Neanderthal man. These people incorporated ritual burial practices into their culture. Red oak earth, natural earth pigment, was sprinkled on the dead, possibly symbolizing blood. The bodies of the deceased were arranged in the fetal position and were often oriented toward the rising sun, as a new day might have symbolized rebirth to the Paleolithic people. This is an early indication in the belief of an afterlife for the dead, or belief of life after death. The last Ice Age was in Europe from 40,000 to 11,000 BC. In Western Europe, the Ice Age was receding and vast herds of reindeer, buffalo and other large herbivores roamed the plains and valleys. Paleolithic man hunted these herds. They developed hunting and possibly hunting magic. Their artwork reflected this. They were at the mercy of nature. They perceived the objects they represented to have magical influence over nature, like praying for rain. Paleolithic man made images of animals to bring them back in abundance. They made images of humans, primarily females possibly to ensure their own reproduction. They also made mysterious symbolic marks along with pictorial images. Some of these marks seem to indicate the passage of time. The mystery of why these prehistoric people started to create art. 1. The outer world was mysterious and beyond the control of early man. It was filled with spirits, 
figures in the shadows. Spirits were in animals, plants, and the elements like wind spirits or water spirits. This concept was called animism. 2. They began to recognize images in things like a face in a rock, like we see dragons in the clouds as children. These things were kept and treasured and had a magical connection to the subject. An image carried the spirit and soul of the subject. There is still residue of this. We would not poke out the eyes of a loved one's picture. What happens to the image affects the real subject. We are not so far removed from primitive man, 